It's a very peaceful day on Prehistoria. Nothing much is happening. There's no dead animals to be seen, no predators. They say everything is calm before the storm. Right here, some new life is about to begin. It's a baby Apatosaurus. And unfortunately, it's the only one in its pod. The other babies were eaten. It takes its first steps into a world of danger. It's grown quite a bit since the last episode. The new members include Don, a Stegosaurus. Yidnis, a Styracosaurus. And Zuni, a Zuni Cerebrus. They are making their way to some feeding areas. The herd is moving very slow. <clears throat> Matthew pesters the people in front of him to move forward. <clears throat> Bull begins to pick, pick up the pace. He doesn't do it to satisfy Matthew's needs. He does it because he senses something. <laughs> Bull and Matthew cover the babies. Dashing past them is Dash. <laughs> Dash tries to frighten Bull so he can expose the baby underneath him, but Bull won't budge. <laughs> He decides to go for Don, <laughs> only to be greeted by Matthew's tail spikes. With all this commotion, the Zuni panics. <laughs> Dash an advantage. <laughs> the herd knows they can't do anything. They have to move on. They can't risk losing more people. After all. Losing one is better than losing two. About 50 kilometers away, we see Dig resting under a tree. He has just come back from an unsuccessful hunt. He has used up most of his energy and therefore he is resting. But suddenly, something catches his eye. A Pinacosaurus. Probably the most common in Kylosaur on the island. Feeling more active, Dig climbs a tree. He's about to use his new hunting tactic. <laughs> Dig has the advantage here. Pinacosaurus is one of the easiest herbivores to hunt, despite its armor plating. You see, being stuck on an island that is smaller than their original home, the Pinacosaurus have dwarfed and their armor has become smaller and weaker. And their armor being so weak, they have become easier to flip over. Dig has got the meal. Unfortunately for him, there are other predators on this island, <coughs> such as this Allosaur. The Gaunt knows the Allosaur is much bigger than him and much stronger. <laughs> Alasaur simply knocks him over. <laughs> the Allosaur has the meal. But there's always a bigger predator. It's a 
fully grown male Tyrannosaurus Rex. And he is hungry. This T-Rex is the king of Prehistoria, and his name is Rex. <laughs> <laughs>